Imagine this. The year is 2030, and singularity is near, if you believe in that stuff. And cryptocurrencies have become mainstream. Your local supermarket accepts it. You receive your salary in it. And the world is a happy place. Well, I'm not sure about the happy part, but we can all hope. Now, accounting applications such as Xero, MYOB, Sage, and Intuit have either disappeared or have had to change their business model drastically. Why? Because of this thing called the blockchain. Folks, let's take a closer look at this. You see, accounting applications grab their information from various places, such as an automated bank fee, manual data entry, and of course, the dreaded CSV. It's so 90s, isn't it? What happens next is that this information is then processed and massaged to produce pretty reports for everyone to see. Now I know that these applications also provide the likes of payroll and inventory, but let's keep things simple for now. So my question is that in this new world of cryptocurrencies, if transactions are on the blockchain and the data is on the blockchain, why don't we do accounting on the blockchain? So that's what I tried to do. You see, I've always been interested in how to put data onto the blockchain and then to be able to read from it. So what I did is I jumped on Google and I tried to find a way of doing this. To my surprise, it only took me five minutes because I found a PHP library that would help me do this. On screen here, you can see an example of a PHP library where I typed in two lines of code. Here I've got the text, why did the chicken cross the road? I made a Bitcoin transaction on the test net with five millibits, and this was then recorded onto the blockchain. It's also timestamped here, you can see, on July the 6th at 10 p.m. at night time. When I was doing this, what I did notice is that I made a spelling mistake. Instead of typing W-H-Y, I typed W-N-Y. And then it hit me. You can't actually change it. It's stuck there. If I wanted to fix it, I'd have to make another transaction. So that was quite neat. So, in this five minutes, I didn't actually learn anything. Sure, I typed a few lines, but I wanted to understand it at a more deeper level. So, I thought I'd create a Bitcoin wallet. Again, I did some searching, and to my surprise, it was pretty darn difficult. So, what did I do? I did something that most Chinese people are good at, and that's copying. I got a Bitcoin wallet, an open source one, and I forked it. And I started from there. I mean, that's the smartest thing to do, right? And this is what I created. You can see I called it blockchain accounting. And in the, one of the user interfaces, I injected some custom fields. The first one there is a category, such as income or expense. And then a subcategory of travel, maybe payroll, or office expenses. And then I've got some custom notes down below. So let's give this a whirl, shall we? I'll jump to an example. So here you can see the screencast of the blockchain accounting app. I'm going to click on it and open this. And then I'm going to make a transaction. So I'm going to hit send down below. And you can see here that I've got the various categories. I'm going to provide an address, and then I'm going to send eight millibits. I'm going to call this an expense. I'm going to select, maybe it's uh, travel, I'm happy with that. And then in my notes field, I'm going to type maybe taxi 
to Wellington Station, for example. Like so. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go and hit send and broadcast the transaction. You see down below, or up above, it's been sent. Now, what I can also do is in the top right hand corner, I can go ahead and select maybe accounting, exchange rate, invoices. I'll hit accounting. And I might want to export the transactions to my accountant, like so. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the browse option because I want to see this transaction on the blockchain itself. So up above, I've got the URL. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to send it to myself so that I can just show it on a, uh, a browser. So on screen here, you can see that this is the transaction that I've just executed. And what I do is down below, I'm going to expand the transaction out to view the details within. And the secret key is this op return field here. That's an hexadecimal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this field and then I'm going to convert it from hexadecimal to human readable ASCII. Paste it down there, hit convert, and then you should be able to see up above here the exact information that I put on the blockchain with my app. So next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a, a local web page to view this information. And you can see it here. You can see the amount, the category, the subcategory, and the custom notes as well. So what's happened is that this is a web page that is querying the blockchain API on my local laptop here. Just to show you the transaction in a nice readable format. Now, the key to making this work was this line of code here. This actually took me about a week to figure out. It was pretty tricky. What this line of code actually means is that I'm creating a transaction and I'm adding to the output a zero coin transaction. And on that coin, what I do is I take the message that I want to send, those custom notes, and I create what's called a, a create op return script. So that was a secret piece of code that would make all of this work. Now, to the astute amongst us, you might be thinking, well, hang on a second, this is not accounting, this is actually bookkeeping. And you'd be right. This is just one step in the accounting process. But if you can grab the information, you can see that the opportunities to create other applications on top, other views, for example, are enormous. What I want to do is leave the accounting industry with a challenge. Does anyone here know who invented the digital camera? Nobody? It was Kodak in 1975 by an engineer called Steve Sasson. Now, Kodak had this technology, but what did they do with it? Nothing. And guess what happened in 2012? They declared bankrupt. So I'm taking this analogy and saying that the accounting industry know about blockchain technologies. They're probably investing in blockchain, blockchain technologies. But the question is, are they going to be bold enough to disrupt themselves and apply this technology in new and wonderful ways? Because if they don't, I can guarantee you someone else will. Thank you.